Hey, Tex, Ads and Craig's here with you and welcome to Gravy Train, arguably the most powerful indicator we have ever created. Uh, today, we're going to show you exactly what Gravy Train is and stick around till the end. We've got a very special offer for those people who do choose to dive in uh, into to Gravy Train for their first month. We're going to show you exactly what Gravy Train is and how you can use it to make some serious potential profits. Craigs, let's dive into Gravy Train. Tell us exactly what this is. This has really been a, a labor of love for the last 18 months or so that's now come to what we see on the screen here. Yeah, uh, thanks, Ty. Look, it started off um, as an indicator for predominantly scalping. And and that was that would have been a good 18 months ago plus. What it is today is a little bit different, but it still has all those characteristics. So we can go right down to the smaller time frames, And as we can see on the screen here, like even the daily really, really, really kicks it. The basic theory behind it was to get an indicator where you could look at it really, really simply, and then you'll know exactly where it stands. So if we go through the colors to start with, you can see right at the tail at the end on the right hand side, it's turned green. Now that green means it's a, a it's a bull market go long. So you can see those those little L's there. They could be potential entry points. So any of those L's is a potential entry point. You don't have to hit the first one, and obviously all the way up there you could have entered, and that's a, it's a hot signal. As soon as you can see where it turns to red on one side, and then the middle bit turns grey. That means it's a no trade zone. So that means the trend is going sideways. It's a trend indicator. We, we try and follow the trend as much as we can and ride that trend all the way up or potentially down as well. So that was a the theory behind it. Where's the color going? Is it, is it green? Let's go long. Is it red? Let's go short. Is it chopping going sideways? It's gray. It's a weight zone. And as you can see, it goes gray, red, gray, red, green. We're waiting for those really big runs and getting really early entries in to try and get as much as we can. This works five minutes all the way up to daily. Now, when you do do the daily and the larger time frames as well, you've got to think of each candle as a day. These take days, weeks. You can, you can have a trade for months. And as you can see, I don't think anyone's going to argue too much if you can slap out 30 40% on any winning trade by holding and then only getting out when you see that red cross where it says stop long or stop short. Um, this, this, that's the basic strategy in a, in a real nutshell. We've, we've um, thought about many other ideas on how we can work with it as well um, with other little crosses and, and getting in and out and using it for support um, and resistance and, and, and coming back into the cloud and all that. That all works too. Um, but that's the nutshell of it in a, in a real simple, concise way. And what I love about this as well as anyone who's familiar with cloud-based and I'm sort of talking Ichimoku a little bit, this is really sort of like an Ichimoku on steroids where the cloud is acting as a level of support or resistance depending on what side we're on, Craigs. And you can see that pretty clearly with uh, really any time frame that you're on, whether it be the five all the way up to the daily, the, the, the respected element of that cloud is uh, is really, really profound. So let's now dive into the parts of Gravy Train. And it really is uh, very tweakable, as we sort of say. There's so many different parts that can be moved or changed uh, and customized. So let's dive into the settings of Gravy Train and quickly go through that so you can understand a little bit more on how you can tweak and change Gravy Train for yourself. Okay, so the, so you've only, it's really, really simple. So you can... So, the, so on the bottom one here, the cloud period or the trend cloud period, think of that almost like a moving average, okay? So a tw 21 seems to work pretty well. We've set that as the default. Um, as you change that number, you can see those clouds move, okay? So do you want it faster? Do you want it slower? You know, depending on the asset that you use as well. So completely tweakable and how that really fits. How aggressive do you want to be? Do you need it? Do you want it to move quick? Well, you can set it to move quick. Do you, do you want it more stable? Do you want longer trades? Again, all tweakable is exactly which way you want it. Um, do you want it smoother? So think of it like a, you know, a, a simple moving average or an exponential moving average. Is it, is it going to move faster towards the end a little bit or is it going to be more smoother? So that's 
really that's all that um, is going to do on that one. And even those two um, settings there, you can see that the, the higher you have that, the, the more entry signals that you can get in. The lower it is, it smooths it right out. So you've only got a few. You can't have, you could turn it up so every candle is just about has an entry point. You obviously don't want that. There's got to be an in-between. So between those two settings, you can you can kind of tune it into the asset that you're trading against. And if we go over to the style element as well, this is, uh, you know, much of a muchness, but I think in all the time that we've had Gravy Train, I personally know I've never changed anything. Maybe sometimes the, the color of the, uh, the cloud or sometimes the color of a, a long or short signal, but really everything in here is, uh, can be customized as well, Craig's. Yeah, if you have a look at the first four, that's why they're up there. You can untick those first four boxes and then you just have um, a, a not so in your face cloud. Um, again, it's personal preference there and what colors you have as well. Um, every, everything's changeable in there, like most things um, in the style factor of Pine Script. They come up there by default. Everything's um, uh, labeled so you can say exactly what it is and change what you want. If you have a white background, change, change a few things. If not, it will work pretty well on, on black. So let's go through a, a basic strategy. I think you can already tell based on what these clouds are telling us. Are we above the cloud in a bullish environment and we're using the cloud as a level of support? Are we below the cloud or within the cloud and using the, the red or the green as levels of resistance, uh, depending on, again, are we below the cloud or above the cloud? So that's one very, very basic strategy. And this will change as you go from five minutes, perhaps as a scalper, to the one one four hour and daily time frame, perhaps as a swing trader like us. So uh, ads and Craig's let's dive into a, a very simple trading strategy that you could use with something like supply and demand uh, where you match up levels or a basic gravy train trading strat. Well, basically uh, gravy train can be used on its own. It can be used with your own TA as well to validate your zones, to validate your trend bias, uh, to validate your pullback levels and everything like that too. Uh, the easiest way to trade Gravy Train is using the breakouts and the retests. That's what I've found uh, with all my testing over the past few months. Of course, uh, with the breakouts, you can find something like this. So gems like this, where we break out of the cloud, the cloud turns green. We are starting to create a bullish trend to the upside. And then we are looking for a retest of price on the cloud for an entry signal. So we can continue up and ride that trend until we stop our long or stop our spot position uh, for this in particular by uh, Bitcoin on the four hour time frame. And as Ty said, you can also use it to validate your own TA. So what he means by that is if we were looking for a level of supply that we usually do here at UTG, we can always rely on the gravy train clouds to validate our zones uh, because it will give us hidden support or hidden resistance uh, that will match up to our levels of supply and of course our levels of demand as well, Ty. So this doesn't just work on Bitcoin. We've got a few other examples to show you, which, uh, which are just stupid. Absolutely. So if we go to Ethereum on the daily time frame, and it shows us where we got the original Ethereum call to long this bad boy it was all the way down at uh, what was that level at around 360 is where we got the first call. We pretty much called every single bearish bullish and consolidation period on Ethereum as well we are not done on ethereum by any means based on gravy train right now if we go to something like binance usd as well on the four hour usdt and have a look at that on the four hour as of late as well it's given us the entry signal all the way back down at around 32 bucks now sitting at just shy of a hundred dollars so whether this be a bnb a usd pair whether it be a btc pair whether it be Forex, crypto or otherwise, there is merit in every single market for Gravy Train. Uh, and someone actually called it the holy grail of trading from one of our trading groups. It truly is like cheat codes for the market. So what we're going to do is
was a very special entry first round uh, comp or giveaway for everyone. We are going to do a everyone who subscribes to Gravy Train for the first month of its life. You're going to go in the draw to win a 12 month annual subscription. What we're also going to do is give you 50% off for the first month of Gravy Train. So not only do you get Gravy Train for half price, look at what you're getting included in this and you also go in the draw to win a 12 month 100% free subscription on Gravy Train. Do you have any more questions on gravy train unity trading group.com forward slash store to get yours or come into the discord and ask questions we are so excited to share this with you and cannot wait to hear the results you get with gravy train thanks for watching catch us later